Hey, what's going on, y'all? I want you guys to challenge for a big dog back with another one take review. And today I got one for the season two finale of C, which has probably been one of the, my favorite shows of the year so far. I don't think there has been a single episode that did not live up to what I think the first episode of this season established that things were going to be bigger, better, explore more different things, and open up the world. And I think that's exactly what we got. There was one thing I was actually looking forward to seeing at the end of this season, and we did not necessarily get that. And it's not disappointing by any means, but at the same time, I kind of wish we would have introduced that little element to the story. But obviously, this episode was pretty much based around one thing, and that was a fight. We have already got, we got the political stuff out the way. We've got all everybody's ideas and views. We know exactly where everybody else stands, where everyone stands on this thing. We have Ren and Hanawa and the middle, well, not in necessarily in the middle of this, but they had, they tried to like come to grips and come to terms, but that's not where it's going. The Trevantians want war and the Trevantians, the army that everyone in the world where on this continent fears is bringing it to them. And, and, and led by Ito and Ren, up against Baba, Tamaka June, Hanewa, Kofun, told, you know what I'm saying, they got a squad. And what we did not know, they have more than just those people that we saw. They have a, Paris went to recruit more people, people from the hidden tribes, and they joined in on the fight. There are 100 plus people, and those people have, were even said to be one one of those are worth 10 Trevantian soldiers. And I'm like, hey, you're going to have to see because things are about to go down. We get to see a uh, lion bow back. So everybody's having it, and then we finally get to this war, and the way this war starts off is just great, okay? The, the, the entire build-up, even from when they first opened those gates, from when the Trevantians were trying to break it down to them, just completely letting in. Baba Voss's speech to those people, it's like, you couldn't, I don't care who, what you say, if you didn't get chills listening to Baba talk, something's wrong. And then everybody's just like, oh, this, this people with Baba Voss, oh, this is with Baba Voss. Like everybody's with Bob Bob because like he just has that leader ask I mean, well he's that person you who's like fighting for more than himself and like you understand but like yo, this guy is a leader. This guy is probably the well not even probably one hundred percent the best fighter here. So we get to the fight. The first group of people come through, they get taken down. Next group of people get taken down. And then they send the boy. That's when uh uh, uh Baba I mean, not Baba, uh, Ido implements his child, the child that can see, and he's pretty much like telling everybody what, what people are going to be. And then one of the best parts is when they say full attack. The full attack is probably the best thing because you have to remember, you have to remember these people, everybody in the show is blind. But the one thing about them you can separate the Trevantians, their leather and iron. So if it rings, <laughs> it's a Trevantians. I like the fact that Tolo told us that because we didn't know, like, how do they recognize who's who? You know what I'm saying? How, how, how do we know what happens there? How, how do you know who you're fighting, especially if you're applying? You know what I'm saying? But, hey, I, some kind of way, they made it work, and I thought it was awesome. The most skilled fighter, obviously, out there was Bob Boston, the way he was taking out people, but Ido comes through, and it's just a straight-up brute. Just, uh, he was lifting people up with them swings, right? He was taking them left and right, heads completely popping off and just going, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. He was like, he was launching them into, like, the, the, the next town over, bro. It was so good and just just like the back and forth and like them having to do certain things and back against the wall and characters dying told ends up getting his life taken I, I i knew somebody had to die personally i thought it might have been kofun but i'm just like oh, i don't think this and because I've, I've been saying i didn't think kofun was gonna make it through the season but Toe was actually the person who didn't make it through the season. And and, and I think I kind of started to realize Kofun's chances of living was a little bit better. As things started to progress, and I'm just like, I don't think this would be the right time if Ko, for Kofun to die. You know what I'm saying? And so, ultimately, the I mean, the fight's super entertaining. Even when they, they the, the strategy they had going into this fight, probably like the thing that saved them the most because of the fire and uh, pretty much 
sending a lot of insurance and soldiers into the lake, and which they can't see. You trapped on the ice. You don't necessarily. You don't know what way to go. Like that's probably has to be one of the worst things for for them. You know what I'm saying? One of the things they fear the most because it's like, what what do you do? You really can't do anything. You can't feel when you're in the water. You know what I'm saying? You you just pretty much out of it. Uh, Baba even got lucky at times. Like he was just running, just so happened to be lucky to just dump on ice that was there, and then get 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 out. But I thought this uh, this episode was amazing. So uh, we eventually see the defeat of the Trevantian Warriors, and I was like, at first, I'm like, this this shouldn't be happening. But then you just look at how the uh, the Pian, I'm gonna say the Pian Alliance had things planned out. You know what I'm saying? I think that was the thing that benefited them most. Like, I think Trevantian's biggest thing was like they overpowered people that had the numbers advantage. But in this situation, the, the numbers advantage diminished. And not only that, like you had the the Pion Alliance who had a, a, a great strategy as how to take out multiple members. And Bob Voss and Tamata June, who are just excellent fighters, taking out a lot of people. Don't get me wrong, Red was slaying a lot of people as well as Bob I mean as uh, as well as Edo. Uh, but one of the moments I, I liked, but I, I I thought there was something more was going to happen with it, was uh the moment that we saw with uh with Ren actually falling into the water. We know Ren can see, it, but like Ren goes down there and she stays down there for a minute, and and you can hear the concern in in uh, Ido's voice. One that's one of the things that I I, I never thought that was going to be a, a actual thing. I always thought. Ido was using Ren for uh, like a lot of the time. I always thought he was using her, you know what I'm saying, to push forward his goals and he didn't really care about her. But like the more like it it never was that. Like and that's one of the best parts about it. I, I don't like villains who just or just antagonists who don't appreciate their subordinates. And that wasn't who Ido was at all. Like Ido was legit through and through. Once Ren died, like Ido was pretty much like this this is it for me. I'm going to have to like, I know I can't go back. I can't go back to, uh, uh, I can't, you know what I'm saying, to, my, to home. They're they going to kill me. And I can't, you know, and he obviously knew he could, like, be with the Pines. I don't even think he would want to do that. So you see a duel between him and Baba. I mean, yeah, him and Baba finally. And you can easily tell Baba is the more skilled fighter. It's just that you can be skilled, but Ido is just a brute. That's what he is. He's a... He's a brute, and he brings a hammer every single time. And you can't help but just be like, oh, wow, this guy, this guy is really doing his damn thing. Uh, so, yeah, I thought that was a, a, a great part of this uh, uh, this this episode. And, like, that was too many filing, like, settled down. And because, like, Bobby refused to kill him but until it was that point where he pretty much had really no choice. And I, I kind of, there's a part of me kind of feels like, uh, Ido, in order to get off that burden and, and just let things go, he pretty much plunges the knife through himself, but with Baba's arms, just know that's it. Because he knew, like, what there was nothing else for him in this world, and that's just what it was. And I thought that was great. Now, I will say this this episode had one part about it that I didn't necessarily like. Well, I'm, 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 I didn't like it at all. I didn't like this decision. You know what I'm saying? And because, and I'm going to get to it in just a second, but like we go back to the kingdom, everything's cool, Tamata June, some of the witch finders leave, I think that's going to be a big plot point in the next season, um, everything, uh, 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 Hanewa frees Ren, who's a, literally a, like a lieutenant, and and I don't blame Kofun for getting mad at him. Uh, I, 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 Kofun said, has done some stuff this season that has like, kind of like annoyed me. But in this situation, I don't think I could be mad at him because I'm just like, yeah, Ren just literally slaughtered so many of our people and you just let her go because of y'all relationship. How are you supposed, how, how are we supposed to trust you anymore? You, and she's thinking, like, hey, well, she's a sighted person. Okay. Yeah, but she also just killed a whole bunch of our people. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and I get it. Maybe, maybe, maybe Hollywood looks at it like this. This is not an officer. You know what I'm saying? This, this isn't our battle. But I'm just like, yeah, that's that's kind of a tough thing to my bad. My apologies. I got something. In my eye. But like, that's just kind of a tough thing to get over. Like, she just like teamed up with them. So, I mean, she not teamed up. She just let this person go. Who just killed. Her. I'm a, like a big chunk of their people, you know what I'm saying? So, um, 
I think that's definitely gonna throw a wrench in that in, in, in that family aspect. But even though when they came back together when with Margaret finally like I said our family come back and everything, I love that point. Um, even though Bob ends up leaving to go off and do his own thing, he just pretty much tells him he doesn't belong there, which is kinda of weird to me. I never thought that thought Bob would do something like that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm looking sir. Oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm a little excited. My eye is red as hell after that. Jesus Christ. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was great. Now, here's to the part that wasn't I wasn't a fan of. I felt, I was wondering. There's always, after we get to the end, and like the last 10, I would say 10 or 15 minutes or so, kind of like it's pretty chill. You know what I'm saying? It's just like everybody's like, dealing with what's happened, the results of the war and everything like that. I'm like, all right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. But I'm new. I'm like, you need a hook for season two. I mean, season three. Even though I thought this season in this, in itself, by itself, was great. You know what I'm saying? It didn't really miss anything for me. But then we get to that point where it's like, oh, wait. What's, what's the hook? And then we see uh, Jordan Morrell's son pretty much he created bombs now, which is going to be very, very difficult for, especially blind people. But they can hear though; they can still hear like the, you know, what I'm saying the, 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 the shit, you know, they going down. But that's still hard for them to combat against. Like, you know, what I'm saying bombs. That's crazy. And eventually, if he, if he gets guns, if he get guns, wait, well, they're they're dead in the water. But I don't think that's happening. But the bombs are enough right now. And I'm like, okay, cool. I that, but the, even then, I'm like, that wasn't a big enough hook. And then we see Queen, well, the former Queen, Sibbeth. And at that point, I'm like, yeah, something, something's about to happen. And she's talking to Paris. I'm like, what? I'm like, did she lose another baby? I'm like, what happens? And then, boom, she ends up talking, and then she kills Paris. She slits Paris' throat, and I'm just like, I can't believe that just happened. I'm like, I, I think that was just done simply for shock factor. I don't, and, and nothing else in this show has felt like that. I'm like, why would she kill Paris? Like, what benefit does she get from doing it other than what Paris, the person who checks on a baby and knows it? I, it just didn't feel, it just didn't feel right for me to, for them to kill Paris at that moment. You know, that's the only issue I just had. But other than that, I thought that, I thought the episodes were. Like really, really good, really, really entertaining. But like that part just to me did not land. I'm just like, oh, this just feels awkward and unnecessary. It felt awkward and unnecessary, which is not like the rest of the show. You know what I'm saying? So um Yeah, that's that's just pretty much all I did. I I was looking forward to what season three holds. Um I didn't know they were gonna I didn't think they were gonna kill Edo off just yet. I thought Edo might have been might have became a Trevantian prisoner or something like that. Uh, I didn't, but no, they killed them off. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see who they bring in next season and what they're gonna do. Um, now that Margaret's queen, I know she's gonna have some a lot of things to go deal with. Uh, the Trevantians are probably gonna get moved in on by the uh, Ganites. That's who I was actually looking forward to seeing the Ganites, but they, I mean, I thought they was going, the Ganites were going to be the people who end up helping the pie in. All right, but like that didn't happen. So I'm presuming the Ganites might take Trevantia's territory over. Who knows? Because like they they lost their main guy. I mean, I mean the, that commander and the lieutenant is technically a traitor. Well, I don't know. She, she didn't betray them now that I think about it. Well, no, she tried to betray them at first, but like during the battle, she didn't. Like she did her job, you know what I'm saying? She she tried to accomplish some shit. So, and she actually even saved uh uh Ito at one point in the war. So I just wish those two would actually have a proper goodbye between Lieutenant and and, and I would have. I'm not gonna lie. I would have rather a proper goodbye between uh Ito and and uh and Rand than the one we got. With uh, Ren and uh, Hanawa, if I'm being completely honest, but it is what it is, man. I'm just ready. To, I know it's gonna get a season two. I, I mean, season three. It, it has to. The show is just too good. Uh, but yeah, you guys, let me know what you thought about this season finale down in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys are staying safe, and I catch up with you guys later.